Um, yeah, with that, I, I just enjoy the fact that like you have somebody on the you know in the starting group that can help free up some of the other players to score a little bit easier. Like I, I think that like when you have like let's say Christian Coloco in that in that spot, you don't want Coloco having the ball. You don't want him necessarily making decisions with the ball right now. Mm-hmm. There was even a play in the fourth quarter where Coloco was just trying to swing the ball around the perimeter, and then somebody uh, essentially jumped on him and then took the ball away and then took it in for a dunk. You know, stuff like that where you just don't trust a young player in that moment to to have the ball. I think, you know, when you have that in the starting group, you can you can have OG operating off the ball. You can have Scotty operating off the ball. You can have Delano operating off the ball. It just helps everyone around. And also, you know that you're going to give a great effort from Thad. Like, he hit the floor a few times and he got four offensive rebounds. You know, was was d- disruptive on defense. Like, it, it's, it's exactly what you get Thad for. Like, obviously, when everyone's healthy, you don't play him to this degree. But when you are in a tough spot, like the Raptors would not have been winning some of these games of late without that young. They might have lost to the Rockets and the Pistons if that wasn't around. So yeah, a handful tough. of games in a row where, well, not in a row. There were a couple exceptions in there, but a good stretch of time where he's been the plus minus guy, right? Yes. Like yeah, yeah. not enough yet. Like I think his plus minus on the year is exactly even. Mm-hmm. But when you look at some of the lineups he plays in, that's not all that surprising. And maybe one of the most encouraging things, this hasn't really played out in terms of Thad Young to Scotty Barnes or Scotty Barnes to Thad Young. But you look at Scotty Barnes's, um, you know, go through some of his line mates. Yeah. Thad Young has, and maybe this is just noise, maybe it's nothing, but, but Thad Young does seem to have somewhat of an ability to help Scotty be in the right positions or, or like, I, I don't know. They just have really outlier numbers together and mm-hmm. it's a small sample, but given that Scotty's had some ups and downs so far this year, I do think it's, it's interesting, especially when you consider that when they got that young part of what we were thinking is, Oh, this is a really good guy for OG and Scotty to learn from. Yeah. Yeah. 